All right, tonight I want to look at Figma Asuna from Sword Art Online. This is Figma number 178. I was recently able to get this on Mandarake for a reasonably good price considering how much I normally see her selling for. Um, got about $65 shipped. There's the box, pictures. Yay. All right, who cares about boxes? Figma Asuna comes with a bunch of stuff, like three faces, nice little smiling face, a little frowning angry face, and a determined face. Can you even see those the way I'm holding them? Hooray. <clears throat> they swap out easily, you just pop off her hair and her face. And She comes with two little scabbards. A black one and a red one. They have a little button that fits into the soft plastic of her tunic. And then she has a sword for each one. This one, uh, which I think is the one that I've seen her use, I've only seen about seven episodes, maybe ten episodes of the show. I've been enjoying it. And then this one. I don't know what this one is for. I assume she gets it later in the show. Maybe it's stronger. They fit inside their scabbards nicely. This one rattles around a lot and is really loose. But that's no big deal. This one fits in a little more snugly, but not a ton. It'll still just slide right out. Um, <clears throat> she comes with a stand. Hooray. It joints in three places and has an end that can turn if you put twist very hard goes into a hole in her back. She has articulation. Oh wait, one more set of accessories. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see if we back on there. She has a bunch of different hands and a little container for them. These hands and Hinged sword gripping hands and non hinged sword gripping hands angled forward for stabbing. And I'm just dropping stuff all over the floor. Nothing important, just DNs cards. Fists, more grippy hands, and gesturing hands. And finally, she has an effect part. Let's put her sword back in her hand. She does a, her, one of her finishing moves is a super fast thrusting attack. And here you get a facsimile of that. And it goes on like so. Just slides on over top her sword. And it's like she stabs you so fast it leaves energy marks and... It doesn't fit on... Well... Yeah, it can vibrate a little bit, no big deal. This middle one comes out for some reason. It's a different color for some reason. Maybe you can start she can start her stabbing and then finish it. I like this figure. I've been enjoying the show. I like her design. Um I like her sort of cleric outfit with the crosses and um, her articulation is elbows and shoulders, and these strappy things are soft, so they don't really hinder the articulation too much. Alright, she's got an upper torso, I think the bottom of her waist swivels. Um, good leg articulation. Her feet don't go forward too much because of her little cuffs. But a little bit, there's no side-to-side -side motion that I can really get out of her feet. She also has a cut off hand because it stayed attached to the sword. Oh, this I don't like. The cuffs of her tunic come off with her hands. So be careful when you take off her hands that you don't lose those. She's kind of rare right now. I know they are reissuing um, her buddy Kirito from the show, so maybe she'll get a reissue soon. 
So maybe don't pay $60 for her. Wait and see if you can get her for like $30 if she's reissued. I do have the cutie toe on reissue or on pre-order. Um, she also has a joint in her hair so that she can do that. These other ones are just soft plastic, soft rubbery stuff. And then her tunic also has a joint in each half so she can fly or stretch or something. Okay, I have one problem with this figure. And that's that her right sword stabbing hand is so loose it doesn't even stay in her wrist. Give her the sword and it just slides right out. Can't even hold the uh, effect set. So that's troublesome. No, oh, it's working now. Didn't the first time I tried to film this review. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> just falls right out. So that's troublesome. I have to give her a different right hand. But I guess that's okay. She can be left handed. So, um, she is a little bit hard to stand up to balance because of her tunic, which flares out a lot in the back, and her hair. So it's nice that they include a stand. I'll just stick her back on there for the rest of these pictures. Let's have a quick couple of size comparisons. Figma Thor. Figure Arts. And I think she's supposed to be, what, 16-ish? So, you know, these work. You could say she's in scale with them. And... Chogo can save her, because... No, it was right here. So she's a cool figure, and I like her, and I recommend her. If you can get her for a good price. 60 is probably a lot to pay, unless you really like the character and the design. Or unless you're a sucker like me. Um, but I would maybe wait and see if you can get a reissue.